Hi, it's Alaska Granny. What's my strategy for cooking ribs on a day like today? Baking them in the oven. I have a delicious recipe for a maple barbecue rub. Stir together ingredients you probably have in your pantry. Spread it over your ribs and allow them to chill overnight. And tomorrow, turn on your oven, roast away, and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. When I bake ribs in the oven, I like to use boneless country style ribs. And you can see I got these on sale. They were $3.49 a pound. And that's the price here in Alaska. I think that's a pretty good price. I don't know what they cost where you are, but it might be different. If you're looking for a yummy maple barbecue rub, this is fantastic on ribs. The ingredients are maple syrup, kosher salt, paprika, chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, cayenne, celery seed, and oregano. Round up your ingredients and let's measure. Five tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon cumin, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon black pepper, one tablespoon onion powder, one and one half teaspoons of cayenne, one and one half teaspoons of celery seed, and one teaspoon of oregano. I have a nice big glass dish that I'm going to use to season them. Spray it so it doesn't stick. <laughs> Somebody's upset. There won't be any bones. <laughs> Spread them out so you can get the rub all down between the nooks and crannies. Spread your rub liberally all over your ribs get in there and really massage the flavors into the meat. Cover all sides of your ribs. Now cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate it overnight. My ribs have been marinating for 24 hours I'm going to turn on the oven at 275 degrees, allow it to preheat, take the ribs out of the refrigerator, and allow them to come up to room temperature before you begin to cook them. I'm going to be cooking them in my cast iron Dutch oven, so it's already in the oven. The Dutch oven is preheating along with the oven, so that then when I drop in my ribs, they'll be seared by the heat of the pan. Don't those look delicious? It's just amazing. The aroma of the spices, you can smell it and yum. It already smells delicious. Allow them to come to room temperature probably for about 30 minutes while the oven is preheating at 275 with the cast iron Dutch oven already inside. Place your ribs right into your cast iron Dutch oven. Nestle them down onto the hot surface. Then put on the lid and bake it. Mine did not all fit into the Dutch oven, so I put them in a cast iron skillet and covered it with aluminum foil. 
Now close your oven, allow them to bake at 275. These took about two and a half hours. Take the temperature. The pork should be between 145 and 160. And there you have it. Delicious oven baked ribs with a maple barbecue wrap. Allow the meat to rest for about half an hour to make sure all the juices are fully flowing into the meat. Look how tender these are. They just fall apart. Absolutely yummy. And there you have it. A nice big platter of juicy, tender, moist, delicious ribs made with a maple barbecue rub. The nice thing about making your own rub recipes is that you can uh, add less salt if you want, you can leave out the cumin if you don't care for it, you can choose the flavors and spices that make it fit your specific tastes and needs. I love this recipe and it's a real hit with my family. Try making ribs in your oven, in a cast iron Dutch oven, and see if they aren't some of your new tender, most delicious favorites, especially when the weather means you need to cook indoors. I hope if you like my video, you'll share it with someone you think might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.